Hi everyone, my name is Marta, I'm Marketing Manager and in this video we'll explore the types of pages that need to be analyzed for online stores. But before we start, please make sure you subscribe to our channel so you won't miss our new videos. It's not a secret that in e-commerce a well-optimized website is a key to success. Online customers cannot touch the product, they cannot try it on or use it before buying, so their decision-making process is totally based on the experience they have on the website. So we need to streamline the user's path to the product by providing them clear information at the all levels, from the home page to the checkout page. And the heat map is something that can help you perform UX testing and identify the elements which are not clickable by the users or the elements that users click on but they are not relevant or clickable at all. So let's check the most important types of the pages that need to be analyzed. So we will take a Nike website as an example and we will start analyzing from the home page. A home page needs to be welcoming and informative. It should clearly communicate who you are, who you are and expose the main product offering to enable users to start shopping. You should always pay attention to clicks to see where the users most often go after they landed on your website and on your home page. Also, you can analyze scroll depths to see how far the users read and this will give you an understanding of where you can better put the promotional banners with call to actions, the forms or other promotional materials. Next type of pages that is highly relevant is a product category page. A navigational options and product categories needs to be clear with labels that make sense to users on their own as well as in relation to other elements on the website. A good category page must include filters, pagination and high quality images. Also remember that for mobile devices you shouldn't make a product category page too, too long so the users don't have to scroll a lot. Better use pagination. And also remember that hovering is not available for mobile devices. Now we move to the product page or product detail page. It's a place where the user decides whether and what to buy. The product page must include a complete information educating the user uh, about the product in a straightforward way. Make sure the user have no problem with checking the images, enlarging those images, checking the price, availability of product and also adding a product to a cart or to a bag. And the last but not the least, the shopping cart page and the checkout page. Those pages are often combined together and analyzing those pages can give you a better understanding of what's working and what's missing. It can also help you drastically reduce the abandonment rate as many users bounce back on these steps. There are also some additional pages uh, like service pages, blog pages. Uh, you should also take them into account as they are a part of the funnel. So when performing a UX testing, uh, always uh, base, uh, base it on your uh, website structure and take into account all of the pages, but put more focus on the most important types of the pages which I showed you today. So in the next video, we will talk more about the specific specific elements, analyzing them, and also we will discuss the decisions that, can, that you can make based on the heat maps. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you won't uh, fall behind. Thanks for watching till the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.